Amazing how much National Signing Day has grown over the years, isn't it? it? Used to be a day that just had coaches sitting in their office waiting for faxes, but now you start to feel like you're watching the NFL draft. I mean, there are still faxes, but now we're watching it on every network and every website for an all-day marathon of announcements and decisions. There's nothing wrong with that. In a world with growing forms of media around us, the more access we can get, the better. Heck, that's one of the main reasons DMV Stream was created for. But be careful putting too much stock in all these rankings. Yeah, it's the only thing we can go by right now, kind of like preseason rankings, but far too often they can just end up being empty numbers. Ole Miss, one of those programs that came out happy according to those numbers this past week with the likes of Robert Kimdichi, the top overall prospect committing, plus a handful of other top players at the position, and of course Alabama all got what they wanted too. Locally, Randy Edsel and the Terps seem pretty happy with their 22-man class. Maryland needed athletes, and they got them. In junior college wideout Dion Long, corner will likely and quarterback and D-tackle Shane Cockrell. Yeah, Edsel loves those tough guys that can play quarterback. Cockrell's a former state champion wrestler, so he'll join another wrestler quarterback in Perry Hills at the program. Also signed, Suitland All-Met receiver and D-back Tavon Jacobs, who originally committed to Ohio State, plus Jaquiel Vey from the Avalon School, who announced his decision right here on DMVStream.com. So it all sounds great on paper for a lot of these teams, but after the excitement of the day is over, fans and coaches need to just sit back for a minute and see what actually happens on the field with these guys. I mean, back in 2008, Robert Griffin III was the 40th ranked quarterback in his class. 40th, not player, but quarterback. Terrell Pryor was the top guy in that position. Dane Christ was the next one down. Andrew Luck was the seventh ranked quarterback. So as fun as it is to pick whose class looks the best after such a big day, after the fax machine settled down and the nonstop coverage and endless tweets of weird stories go away, it's time to see where these guys actually end up. Some will have great careers and some not so much. Either way, we're bound to find a few overachievers and probably a few guys will look back on and wonder what all the hype was about.